welcome to another video of tally tutorials in this video we are going to learn the predefined vouchers in tally what is a voucher in accounting terms a voucher is a document containing the details of financial transactions or we can say we are entering the details of financial transaction into books of accounts using vouchers for every such transaction made a voucher is used to enter the details into the ledgers to update the financial position of the company tally erp9 is pre-programmed with a variety of accounting vouchers each designed to perform a different job so in nutshell we can say we are passing general entries into books of accounts using vouchers so move to the types of vouchers in tally the first one is contra voucher and the shortcut for executing contra voucher in tally is f4 function key f4 a contra entry is an entry in a business books of accounts indicating transfer of funds from three types first one cash account to bank account second one bank account to cash account and third one one bank account to another bank account if you want to handle these type of transactions you need to pass the general entry using contra voucher or after pressing f4 you can pass these types of general entries check an example ABC limited deposit cash of rupees 1 lakh into SBI bank account this is an example of contra voucher here the transaction is from cash account to bank account general entry is SBI bank account debtor 1 lakh to cash account now move to the next voucher that is payment voucher shortcut key is f5 payment entry is a transaction which is passed to record all payments made by cash or bank so here you can only pass the general entries made by cash or bank check an example abc limited paid salary to staff rupees 65000 the nature of this transaction is a payment so the general entry is salary account debtor 65000 to cash account so you can pass this general entry in tally using payment voucher now the next voucher is receipt voucher the shortcut key is f6 any money received by the business are considered as receipt so here you can pass all the receipts in cash check an example abc limited introduced the capital of rupees 30 lakh into business so here the business receives the money of 30 lakh in the form of capital so the general entry is cash account debtor 30 lakh to capital account 30 lakh now the next voucher is journal voucher shortcut is f7 journal vouchers are used to pass adjustment entries to adjust credit and debit amounts without involving cash or bank accounts so here using general voucher you can pass all the receipts and payments which not involves in cash or bank account so just check an example depreciation charge on machinery for rupees 5000 in this transaction there is no involvement of cash or bank account so you can pass this entry using journal voucher this is an adjusting entry general entry is depreciation account debtor 5000 to machinery account 5000 now move to the next predefined voucher that is sales voucher very important voucher in tally and its function key is f8 a sales voucher is used when a company sells goods to customers on cash check or credit basis that means you can use this voucher for passing the general entry relating to all types of sales either it is in cash or through bank or in credit basis now 
check an example cash sales rupees 50000 it is a cash sales in nature general entries cash account debtor 50000 to sales account 50000 now move to next voucher that is credit note voucher its shortcut is control f8 a credit note voucher is used to record transaction details of sales return or return in word using credit note voucher you can pass sales return entries the next voucher is purchase voucher shortcut is f9 a purchase voucher is used when a company purchases goods from vendors in cash or in check or in credit basis so you can use purchase voucher for recording all type of purchase transactions example cash purchase rupees 50000 general entries purchase account debtor to cash rupees 50000 the next transaction is debit note voucher the shortcut is control f9 a credit note voucher is used to record transaction details of purchase returns or return outward so you can pass all type of purchase returns using debit note voucher these are the accounting vouchers in tally instead of this two non accounting vouchers are available in tally that the first one is reversing journal voucher shortcut is f10 reversing journals are special journals that are automatically reversed after a date of the journal they exist only for a day and are effective on the date of the reversing journal so after a day that particular journal is reversed and it is considered as a normal journal the next journal is memo voucher shortcut is control f memo voucher is a non accounting voucher and entries made using it will not affect your accounts in other words tally erp9 does not post these entries to ledgers but stores them in a separate memo register you can alter and convert a memo voucher into a regular voucher when you decide to bring the entry into your books so you can pass the journal entry using memo voucher and it never affects the regular books of accounts if you need to convert it into regular books of accounts or if you want to convert this memo voucher into regular voucher you can very easily convert when you want it so these are the predefined vouchers in tally you can use these vouchers for passing journal entries in tally so the next video we are going to learn how we can pass journal entries using these vouchers see you on next video thank you